So today on the bench, we have a new Ego 56 replacement battery. This one is supposed to be a six amp hour. And I mentioned in a previous video, I had bought a four amp hour made by Ruzit. I believe these are the manufacturer of the battery and they actually contacted me and wanted to send me a six amp hour. So I did not purchase this one. As mentioned, I did purchase my first one to look into. Just I was interested in it, but this one I gladly accepted to be able to look inside of it. So this is by far the biggest battery that I have for the Ego 56 volt stuff. Five amp hour as big as I have. I never have actually got a hold to a seven and a half and of course not a 10 amp hour. Cool. Comes with a wall mount to use manual. So let's take a quick look inside and let's see what this six amp hour has inside of it. These are T10 security screws. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. And there's our BMS. Once again, it looks very similar to the the Ego board, and it definitely has a conformal coating over the board. So it, it might be harder to go around on these and check the cells, but we're gonna see about that. Yes, you gotta poke through a little bit, but I think we got, yeah, we got a good ground here. It came almost fully charged, as we see here. We go around. Very well balanced. We can still get to our test points. That's good. I think that's it. And from ground to B14, I'm calling it, we're at 57.16 volts. All our connections appear to be soldered. Let's go ahead and take it all the way apart. And there we go. A lot of 18650 cells. And we do have our center board here. The transistors on the back side, similar to the Ego. How do they connect the board? The trace fuse there. That's how they did theirs compared to Ego. There's our NTC thermistors there for temperature monitoring on the, the pack. Two different halves as well. As we mentioned, the, the center of each cell in set has the PN junction they're monitoring there, it looks like. And that's how the end looks. Spot wells look really good. So a three will be a three will be in parallel, and that just keeps on going for fourteen S of three P. Give us a total of twenty one per per half there. So we got forty two cells here. It's a heck of a pack. So back now with this pack being used 
and my mower some and test it and worked fine. I am going to hook it up to my load tester like I did the previous uh, five amp hour pack that I bought and tested myself. I'm gonna do this six amp hour the same way. We'll plug it up. And we're showing 58.3 volts here. Set it up like so. And the way this load tester works, of course, is if I start cutting this up above a half an amp, we're gonna start our test. Everything is set for zero or reset for zero. So we'll start pulling on the, the cells. I just gotta be careful not to overdo the wattage. So I'll probably stay just shy of three amps. Yeah, we're, we're approaching 150 watts, so I can't go much more than 150 watt load here. So let this continue to run and we'll see how it goes. So we've been running nearly an hour. Definitely feel the heat coming off of this. We're right at two and a half amp hours, holding at 51 volts. So we'll keep on with the test and we'll come back, see how it's doing. And here we go. 6.38 amp hours. Pretty impressive. We bounced back up to 45 pretty quick here. But we did shut off, as you can see on camera, at 42 volts. 6.38 amp hour. 326 watt hours. We run our test here for almost two and a half hours. At roughly two and a half amps. So very, very impressive. Going down to three volts per cell for cutoff, 6.38 amp hour. My highest capacity pack that I own actually. And with a fuel gauge, I'm happy about that. I had just put the one bolt back in here, so I wanna go around and see how balanced it is on this low end to bring my meter over. We got 3.35, 333, 333, 333, 334, 337, almost 338, 331, 335, 338, almost 336, almost 335, 337, 335, almost 336, 335, and that's it. And reading across right now, we are 47 volts. We're coming up a little bit. Yeah, I'll be testing this out more, especially in the next coming year. So I threw it in the mower and run it around a little bit and it tested out fine. Just so I could run it down some and then uh, charge it up full before we did our test here. So if you found this video interesting today, please like, share, subscribe. I have some links down in the video description of some tools and things on my workbench that I find interesting. Any of those links that you click on does support my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I'll also have a link for these batteries if you're interested. I mean, I am really, really interested in how well these are going to work and excited that they figured out the BMS and that these will work with our Ego equipment. So, if nothing else, it's just a plus for the community to have another backup go-to battery, even if something happened and we didn't have those type batteries any longer. So definitely definitely a good and positive thing so thanks so much for watching and god bless